Hi everybody, it's Anish Shen again. Now, the smart car is coming. That's what people say. Google has already taken its driverless car out on the road in experimental drives. Pretty soon you'll be able to read the newspaper, play games on your computer, take a nap or even watch porn and jerk off while your car safely takes you where you want to go. Don't believe the hype. It's going to take years before driverless cars hit the road. Uh, now there will be experimental vehicles out there but as far as a mass quantities of them well first of all they're going to have to solve the legal issues who's responsible if there's an accident will the burden of insurance remain with the driver or with the manufacturer Manufacturer certainly isn't going to want to have that burden, but can you really blame the driver if a car that he's not even operating gets in an accident? How can that person be held responsible? And then there is the car itself. We already have cars that use some smart technology. You see it in ads where uh, the car senses uh, 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 that uh, an object is approaching fast and brakes before the driver does. These, this is very good technology. But it's a long way from a driverless vehicle. Computer algorithms can be very helpful in some situations. But they're far from perfect. They can be pretty dumb when it comes to some issues. We see this all the time right here on the internet. For example, my YouTube page frequently recommends that I subscribe to the Alex Jones channel. Now I don't know what algorithm they came up with that recommends that, but this is the equivalent of my car wanting to drive itself off of a cliff. One of my friends can no longer monetize his channel because an algorithm decided that somehow or other he was cheating. Now the guy was making pennies but the algorithm said no he's, he's cheating and this was absolutely not true. So algorithms have a long way to go before I'll trust them. Especially with my life, with my car, absolutely not. Recently I was watching TV and I saw a, a demonstration where a reporter got in a uh, one of these Google driverless cars and, and was taken out on the road. And the car it did fine driving around town at low speeds, but when the time came to enter the freeway, instead of speeding up to match the traffic and getting in, which is the safest way to get on the freeway, the car slowed down. It made it more dangerous for the car, for the people on the freeway, and for the people that were following the driverless car trying to merge with traffic. The, even a novice driver knows that you have to speed up, match the speed of traffic in order to get in safely. But the algorithms, they don't know that. They, uh, these Google algorithms somehow haven't learned that yet. There are thousands, thousands of scenarios involved in every mile that you drive. And some of them involve speeding up to avoid uh, uh, trouble or swerving 
to avoid trouble. But these algorithms, these algorithms, they won't do that. As a matter of fact, when driverless cars do hit the road, the person in the car is not going to be able to sit back and relax. He's not going to be able to read the newspaper or take a nap. He's going to have to watch the road and be ready to take over at a moment's notice. So, if that's the case, what's the point? Then there is the problem of hacking. Can firewalls be built that will prevent your car from being hacked or getting a virus? If our banks, businesses, and home computers are not 100% safe, then there's no guarantee that our cars will be. And a hacker could create havoc, could create an enormous pileup. So the car of the future remains just that. It's not the car of the future. It's the car of the distant future. It'll be a long time before it becomes the car of the present. Thanks for listening.